Good morning everyone. I am Priyanka Filsandar, Assistant Professor, IT Department. In my previous video, we learned about Software Process Model. And in this video, we learn about Introduction to Clean Room Software Engineering. Clean Room Software Process Model include Black Box, Clear Blocks and Stage Box. Okay. So, first we discuss what is Clean Room Software Engineering. Clean Room Software Engineering, it is used to build correctness in developed software. Okay, build correctness in developed software. And the main concept behind the Clean Room Software Engineering is to remove the dependency on the costly process. What is the main concept of Clean Room Software Engineering is that remove the dependency on the costly process. The Clean Room Software Engineering includes the quality approach of writing the code from the beginning of the system and finally gather into a complete system. Okay, gather into a complete system. In Clean Room Software Engineering, software is developed in a small increments which reduce the complexity of system and the clean room system software engineering is based on mathematical approach okay the concept of clean room software engineering development is very simple this method is cost and time effective to set up the fabrication approach and this approach avoids the introduction of product faults. Got it? And the concept is remove the defects from each and every individual components and then only they should be assembled. Okay? Remove each and every component defects and then it should be assembled. Okay? The clean room concept was first proposed by software engineering in males in 1980 okay and the clean room methodology is too much theoretical mathematical and fundamental for use in real or practical software development okay and clean room software engineering process are supposed to be used in software industry in that case it require exact in all life cycle phases okay and many industry continue operating at low level of process maturity also many time software engineers are not been ready to use clean room technologies got it what is clean room software engineering now there are following tasks occur in clean room engineering First one is incremental planning, second one is requirements gathering, third one is box structure specification, fourth one is formal design, fifth one is correctness verification, sixth one is code generation, inception and verification, then statistical test planning and statistical use testing. Now we will discuss one by one. First one is incremental planning. In this task, the incremental plan is developed. Okay. And the functionality of each increments, project size of the increments and the clean room development schedule is created. Got it? Now, next one is requirement gathering. Requirement gathering is done using the traditional techniques like analysis, design, code, test, debug, etc okay the more detailed description of the customer level requirement is developed about the requirement gathering there are different tools used in the requirement gathering such as formal and in informal interview questionnaires documents and record review and observation okay and Using these techniques, customer level requirements can be understood. 
also each increments there should be a perfect clear and correct data should be collected in the requirement gathering now next one is box structure specification the specification method uses box structure okay box structure is used to describe the functional specification it is used to describe the functional specification also box structure separate and isolate the behavior data and produce each environment okay now fourth one is formal design the clean room design is a natural specification by using black box structure approach okay and the specification is called state box and the component level diagram is called clear box specification is called state box and component level diagram is called clear box got it also correctness verification the clean room conducts the exact correctness verification activity on the design and the code design and code correctness verification activities to be done verification start with the highest level testing box structure and then design detail and code okay the first level of correctness takes place by applying the set of correcting questions also more mathematical or formal methods are used for verification if correctness does not signify that the specification is corrected okay mathematical or formal methods also used in correctness verification got it next one is code generation inception and verification the box structure specification is represented in a specialized language and these are translated into the programming language got it translated into programming language also use technical reviews for the correctness of the code okay it is used technical review for the core code correction okay next one is statistical test planning analyze planning design the projected of the software also clean room activity is organized in parallel with specification verification and code generation in a statistical test planning now next one is statistical use testing statistical use techniques execute a set of test in statistical sample and all possible execution okay these samples are collected from the user and targeted population got it and it is compulsory to design limited number of test cases okay next one is verification after the verification inception and correctness of all error and the increment that are certified and ready for the integration or increment it is all included in certification these all are following task occur in the clean room engineering activities now next one is clean room software engineering process model in that use box structure so what is box structure the modeling approach in clean room software engineering uses a method it's called as box structure specification a word box contains the system or aspect the system in detail okay the information of each box specification 
is sufficient to define the refinement without depending on the implementation of other boxes okay the clean room process model uses three types of boxes they are explained as follows first one is black box view second one is states box view and third one is clear box view so first one is black box view in that the black box identify the behavior of system what is the use of black box view it identify the behavior of system and the system respond to a specific event that are applying the set of transition rule got it what is the use of black box so next one is state box view the states box view consist of state data or operation that are similar to the objects operation or data that are similar to the objects the states box represent the history of the black box okay it can be represent history of black box for example the data contained in the state box must be maintained in all transaction what is the example the data contained in state box must be maintained in all transaction got it what is the use of state box view so next one is clear box view the transaction function used by the state box is defined in the clear box view the transaction function is used in state box is defined in the clear box view and it simply states that a clear box includes the design for the states box these all are the clean room process model types got it black box view states box view and clear box view in this video we learn what is clean room software engineering also task are included in clean room software engineering and the process of clean room software engineering models and their type such as black box states box and clear box thank you so much for watching this video